Thank you for being here. The other day, after the students voted in the new students' leadership in school, one of the students came to me and Molimo, I've been performing well. I am very obedient to the school rules. I was among those who were recommended to be leaders in the school. Why was I not appointed? I wanted to be a leader. Why? Let me ask you. What do you tell such a student? Kindly tell me in the comment section how you would answer such a student. Of course, I consoled the student. I told the student also he is in form 2. Still, this time he can be appointed in the next elections. Continue being disciplined, continue working hard in school, and he's going to be appointed. Remember, this student was willing. This is a good student, but he was not selected. I hope whatever else I told him was convincing. I hope I was able to console him. I, I took time to listen to him, to try to get into his mind and what he was thinking. I hope I can talk here freely because that is a student. Maybe vent a little here and tell you that in most schools, there is a particular criteria for the selection of students' leadership. There are those ones who conduct elections. So the particular student names are put forth and then they conduct actual elections with POs, with the clerks, the county clerks and all that. But in most institutions, this doesn't happen. Trust me, it doesn't happen. What happens is they're given an opportunity to suggest different leaders in particular posts they're told to suggest the president that is the head boy or the class prefect the dh prefect they also talk about the ablution prefect all the posts are there and they suggest either each class or each form and then all the names are compiled and then the teachers have a sitting in the sitting they have to consider whether the student is a performer that is he is doing well in his or her studies because you cannot give someone responsibility if they've not worked hard in what brought them to school yes in basic terms in school the curriculum is supposed to enable you to pass exams but there are other things that are very important in school that you're supposed to learn. That is what I believe. You, you are told or you, you are able to train yourself how to live peacefully with others, how to relate with others. In general, you learn how to live amicably with others. Also, you grow in school. You grow in mind and in body. You grow spiritually. So you cannot give Leadership to a student who is not growing academically. As we believe in the curriculum that is that it is tested in exams. So they have first to work hard on why they came to school, what brought them to school. Then number two, what is considered is whether they can be able to lead others. Are they courageous enough? Even if they are not courageous, can they are they trainable? Can they be trained to be a leader? Previously, were they disciplined? And of course, there are other things that are considered, especially for the highest post. That is the school president. Whether they can be a good spy, is in they can bring all the information that is going on within the school. If there is anything that is 
happening in the student's body, they can easily and as often as possible give it to the administration. Actually, I think most schools choose those students who can be good spies. It's not about leadership. Am I wrong? Just tell me in the conversation whether I'm wrong. We have good leaders out there. Learners who are good leaders. But you find that they cannot be used. They know the, their rights. They know that their work is not getting information from the students and giving it to the administration. They know that if it's leadership, they're supposed to ensure that there's peace in the school, not through spying on other students, or even some of them creating stories on their own because they hate a particular student to transmit that information to the administration, which is very wrong. Those people who complain about their school leaders most of the time in the administration is because Alana, and I believe Alana is a child, was influenced. That is bad influence. Or was pressurized by the institution to be a spy. If he doesn't have information about the other student, he can cook the information and take it to the administration so that they can, so that the administration can think he's doing his job in order not to lose that post. That's cost lives of students. It had killed the spirit in school. Which is very wrong. I don't believe that. I believe you can be a leader and you can relate well with your fellow students. An example is if you are class prefect. Your work is ensuring the class is clean, the class is quiet. Every student knows that they should be quiet. So even if you write their names and you take to the teacher and there's a repercussion, the student can be mad today, tomorrow they'll not be mad, they'll keep quiet because they should know the benefit of keeping quiet in class. Class assembly days. You are the class prefect. You are supposed to conduct an assembly in the class with or without the class teacher, but most times the class teacher should be there. And then you hear the challenges that are within are particular items getting lost? Because if they're getting lost, it's the problem of the class. It's not someone from outside. If it's someone from another class, that means you must know it is. But these small, small challenges, just to tackle those challenges that are within the, the class, together with the class teacher. And if it's something that is challenging, you cannot be able to deal with it, that is when you go to the administration of the challenges can be dealt with if you just guide the students. You keep on cancelling them often, often. You cancel them. Repetition. You repeat these things that are important to them. Important in their behavior. Being a class teacher also, you should have like a motherly love. You understand them. You forgive them. And then you caution them not to repeat. You cannot be a class prefect. And you keep on gossiping about the students in the institution who are not sent by your parent to school to gossip about other students or to remit personal information. If the information is interfering with the peace of the school or with the education of the child, that is when you're supposed to communicate it. Anything else from there, it is not your work bringing hatred to your fellow students who can, who you can work with in the future, who can help you in that mathematics that you, you're having difficulty with, that English. I believe kindness is key. Kindness to me is key, no matter what. The moment you start getting used, because I believe that is getting used. Because to become a spy, you get away from your responsibilities. 
a look at the leadership structure and the responsibilities that are given to institutions for the prefects. Is there something there? No, always talk about the challenging that the students are talking to be communicated to the institution so they can be dealt with. That communication, you are there because of that communication. Ensuring the space. But most of them cause what? Chaos. You are not in school. If you are not a leader in school, to blame yourself. It's not about you being disciplined. It's not about your performance and you are performing well. There is that issue of being a spy that is usually key. So take and you're having issues with the prefects, learn to lay back and focus only on your studies. Don't all the other things not affect you. Pray, pray. Go for counseling. We always have counselors in schools. But ensure that a counselor is someone who cannot give away your information. Don't trust everyone. You can be working with someone in the institution. Begin. Let me know about your views on leadership, on how leaders act in the school in the conversation. Thank you.